course, it's bonfire night soon, so we're going to be having a look inside actual fireworks with daredevil scientist Greg Foote. Can't wait. Now I think in my mummy costume, I'm pretty much ready for Halloween. But another thing that's just around the corner is bonfire night. And Barney's got a special guest to explain to you guys just how fireworks really work. Greg Foote, it's always a joy to see you in the studio. And today we're talking about the science of fireworks. Yes. You know the saying, remember, remember the 5th of November? Yes. Gunpowder, treason and plot? Yeah. Well, I can't do the treason and plot, but I can definitely do the gunpowder. Well, the best place to see fireworks are the professional fireworks displays each year. And you see a whole host of different fireworks there. And they've all got the same sort of theme. You've got the whoosh, you've got the shape, you've got the colours, and, of course, you've got the bang. So let's talk about how fireworks are made. Yeah, absolutely. I can do all of those, the shape, the colours and the bang. You may think that fireworks, each one you see up in the sky, is a rocket fired up and then... Tsh. I do think that. Rockets have sticks. Sticks can come down and hit you in the eye. Not good. So, actually, every firework you see up there in the night sky is one of these. It's called a shell, a okay. firework shell. It's actually quite a big one, this one. And this is what gets launched up in oh, one of these. Yes, I want one. A launch tube. Now, this red bit here is the fuse. You drop it into your launch tube, yeah. you light your fuse, and phew, up it goes fires up into the sky okay. and what propels it up there is gunpowder would you like to see some gunpowder can't believe you're even asking me that question get it out now i thought you know i could bring in some gunpowder or even better because i'm trained to do this, I, do this. I could mix up some gunpowder for you amazing so gunpowder is just three different ingredients and i've got them here and you've got to mix them all in the exact right proportions okay so there we go, that's the second one going in there. Now this is totally safe you doing this, isn't this isn't gonna blow up. No, nope, this is completely safe. Okay. Um, I've been trained to do this, so don't you worry. Okay. So this is it. I've got my mix for gunpowder. Now for something to burn, it needs three things. Yep. It needs fuel, oxygen, and heat. Genuinely quite excited about so, this. So here we go, some homemade gunpowder for you. Okay. You're gonna like this, really. Are you, well, it's <laughs> Is this really a good idea? I think it is, don't you, everybody? Should we light a bit of gunpowder in the studio? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. All right, OK, so here we go. So in, in three, two, one... Oh, wow. Now, I bet you thought that was going to go bang. That's why I backed off. I wasn't expecting it just to do that. That's pretty. You see, gunpowder doesn't go bang when you burn it like this. OK. But what it does do is you see all that amazing smoke, that hot gas come off it. Yeah. That's really useful. If you have a look inside a shell, and I've got a model of the inside of a shell here. It's exactly what you get inside these. Yeah. This at the bottom is gunpowder, exactly what I've just burnt. When you light it, it produces all of that hot, expanding gas. If that's in a tube, yeah. there's nowhere that gas can go but out. So it propels it. This is in the way, so woof, yeah, up yeah. it goes okay. into the sky. Now, as it's going up there, this is lighting. This is lit, this is a delay fuse, and it's burning, 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 burning as it's going up in the sky. When it's about 300 metres up in the sky, it lights this. It's known as a burst charge. That bursts all these stars out in all directions, and these are what give you the noise, they give you the whistle, they give you the colours. So we've got the power, we've got the energy that pushes the firework into the air. What makes the colour? That's all right, it. so... Now, this is really simple chemistry. This is why I love firework science. It's all about the type of chemical, the type of metal, that you put inside these stars. OK. So I've got a couple of different ones here. Yeah. So we'll have a look and see what colours we get with different metals. Amazing. So let's go for this one first. So this is a metal, a salt of a metal known as barium. barium. So let's, uh, let's have a go with some, <laughs> some barium. Right, OK, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> look at that. That's amazing. So isn't barium it? gives you green, lovely green colour. This one, this one is my favourite. Yeah. This is strontium. So let's see what colour we get from strontium. Wow. Look at that. What a lovely, lovely red. I can see why you love science. You get to do this all the time, Mate, don't it's you? It's fantastic. So, literally, the type of metal that you use, the, the type of metal salt you put inside these stars yeah. is going to determine the colour of your firework in the sky. Whenever you see a red firework, it's got this metal in it, strontium in it. It's very clever. So we've got the, we've got the lift, yep. we've got the colour, yep. the all-important part of the firework, I think, which is the bit that makes everyone go, ooh, is the bang. Yeah, the bang, yes. always the best bit. So this is something else, another type of powder. Yeah. It's called flash powder. Let's just put some of this out on here. Now I'm going to show you why it's called flash powder. So I'm not using very much at all. So, do you want to see why this is called flash powder? Yes, please. All right, so three, two, one. Ooh. Whoa! That, that was amazing. That's why it's called flash powder. It was first used in flash photography. 
back okay. in the day, and you can see why it illuminates the whole scene. You've seen it in old movies, but there was no bang with that, was there? There was no bang. Now, there's a reason there was no bang, and that's because you need to encase it. You need to put it inside a small tube, and that is what I've done here. I'm a little bit nervous about this next because I've never seen this happen this So close. this is exactly the same amount of flash powder as you just saw. Yeah. Put inside a small tube that I've very carefully made. Yeah. I'm dropping it inside something that can take the pressure, yeah. the force of this, OK? So this is how we get the bang. This is should, flash We should powder. put these, these defenders Definitely. on. Definitely. Everybody, get your cans on, please, so your ears are protected. Thank you. Are we all good? Just check it. Right, OK, good. So, are you ready? I'm ready. We're going to need to edge back when we do it. So, okay. three, two, one, run away! Whoa! That is the bang. No one told me it was going to be that loud. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Half of the camera could have disappeared out that door. It's just the shape where they used to be. Greg, that was amazing. You're very welcome. So there you go. That's how you get the shapes. That's how you get the colours. So you get the bang. It's all down to some really simple and lovely science. It's just brilliant. It is science, but let's add that bit to the end that Greg is a trained professional. Do not try this at home. Absolutely. They do say you should go out with a bang, Greg, and you really did. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. I can't hear or see anything. <laughs>